Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video and we'll talk. Well, hey family, this is Darlene. If you're watching this video, that's only because you became a member of the Jury by BDK uh, YouTube channel literally join you clicked on join and you um became a monthly subscriber in the sense of paying for um privileged content so what i'm making is a necklace and the necklace that i'm going to make in fact i'm going to start a series of necklaces and they will be some very different necklaces i'm going to start with this pendant there is a a video and that video shows you how I wrapped the, I think I got one on here, shows you how I wrapped the leather. And it might even show how I wrapped the beads and wire around that leather. And in this case, I took one of those leather beads and I just made a pendant. So that's what I did. And I am going to come back with a video showing how I did this and how I created this pendant. But in the meantime, I'm going to be making a necklace. And I am going to be using some of the beads that I painted. And I, the idea was to make these look uh, turquoise, but these are 25 millimeter beads, um, unfinished wood beads. And then all I did was painted them. And that's all I did with these. And they're considered to be color wash, but I, I tried to make them look, uh, you know, look turquoise. And I am going to be mixing it with some, a couple of uh, Howlett turquoise beads. And I am going to be using some polka dot beads, all this right here to see what we come up with. All right, so let's get this party started. And I'm going to be using some of the coconut chips. Um, I don't have a whole lot of space over here. I do need to, I need to declutter. Um, I was supposed to go today to get the plastic buckets. I didn't go get them. Um, I will go. I have to go uh, get my car smog, go get my, my tags for my car. Like I have to do a whole bunch of other stuff. So I didn't get around to uh, stopping at the store um, to get the, the plastic buckets. And if God says the same, I'll stop tomorrow and get them. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. So we got our little pendant. And because I like to have something close. Uh, let me see. I think I'm going to use this one. I like to have something close against the pendant like this when I make something uh, this might not well yeah that'll work because it will close against that bevel right there um, I don't like to just put the beads here because when I put the beads it just leaves it real open so I like to put something close these might be too big I might have to change these we're going to try them out and see what we get so I'm going to do this and then I am going to, uh, which beads do I want to start with? I'm going to start with these beads right here, only because the color matches the pendant really well. So we're going to do this. I'm going to put two of these on here to get us started. So then that's what we want it to look like so far. I'm going to have to move the table, too, because it's making all that noise. So hopefully it's not irritating anybody. So we're going to do this like this. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to lay that there. Um, I'm going to put black and white. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do the turquoise. Let's do a couple of the turquoise. Because that was the idea, because I want to mix them. Mix them with some turquoise. So that looks good like that so far. Just matched together. And then we get that close. The pendant, we got that. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I do have a couple of the wire Bead, rope beads 
uh, there is a video for these. Um, I'll try to remember to link that video so you can see how to make these like rope wire beads um, using that aluminum aluminum wire. There's a link in the description for where you can find the wire. So we're gonna do this like this. And we want all the colors to match. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a couple of our polka dot. And we're just gonna start beading Again, with the color, I think I, do I got two more of these? Yep, I got two more of these. These meaning these beads right here. So we're going to go ahead and put these on here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of the, the wire charm beads, or wire, wire spacers. I forget what I call them, the wire spacers, just to give it a little bit more drama. And then we're going to go in for some more... Actually, we're going to go in for turquoise beads. So let's go ahead and do this to howl it. Because I did want to use these. Hopefully I can beat them on here, right? Okay, that seemed like that'll work. And let's see if this one will come on. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yep, that worked. Oh yeah, that worked. Um, oh, let's get this down here. When I say let's get this down here, so you see how the charm is basically in the way of the bead laying on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop, let me see if I could move it down some. Because it's basically in the way of the bead laying flat. So if I take it, let's see if we take it around and then try to, oh, maybe it's the way I put it on there. Let's see, because I did put it through, but either way, we still need to move it out of the way so that the bead can lay flat. That means we need to get it down here somewhere. So let's try to lift it. So what I'm going to do is just lift the bead. Um, take it through. See if I can drop it through there. Drop it in. And then I'm going to beat it again. And then let's put the turquoise howlet on here again. And then see how that works out. Yep. So now when we look at it, it lays in like it's supposed to. So we got that like that. And then we're going to use a couple more beads. We're going to use some more of the turquoise uh, painted, fake turquoise wood beads. So these right here. And we're just probably going to finish it off with these. At least three of them. And we're going to put another two on the other side. I hope everybody is doing well, being creative. And I do see a couple people getting ready for some shows. So that's really good. Um, I wish everybody prosperity and, you know, nothing but success, you know, in everything that you do. You know, we all find our sweet spot. We all find what works for us. We all find the style, the, you know, the setup, everything that works for us. And then you just find that sweet spot and you just keep working it. You know, that's the whole objective of it all, to get ideas from wherever you can get ideas from and just keep, you know, keep creating. This is really pretty. And let's see. I think I want to put, do I want to put one more? I am going to put two more polka dot beads. And then I'm going to close it off with some smaller beads because the holes are, are pretty big on these 25 millimeter, as you can see. 
So I'm going to put some small beads on there to close it off. And when I'm done, it should be, I should have something over here I could use. Oh, you know what? What is this? I got some, um, those are classic beads. Some agate. That's not a good color though. I want some color. And these are rounded. Well, these might not be bad. Let me see. So I'm gonna put this one. See if it'll fit the whole. Oh. Nah, I don't want that one. I think what I'm gonna do is just put some these little small cross beads just to close it off on that hole so we'll just we'll just go that route oh i need to organize this stuff this stuff is just all over the place <clears throat> and i've been working on all other kind of projects i haven't really been you know making jewelry i've been working on other projects so everything is everywhere and what I did do is I, I'm using different color beads to close it off. And the reason why I'm going to use the different color beads is because all through the necklace is different colors, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start to close it off. Everything is as it should be. So it looks good down here by the pendant. Make sure that's closed on really well, like what we got. All that looks good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold one side right here. So when I roll this side over, the other side, meaning this side, doesn't push up. So all I'm going to do is take it with my hand. I'm going to fold it, grab it with this hand, wrap it to close it off like that. And then I'm going to go to the other side. So now when I grab the other side, this side that's wrapped won't move. So it'll be like it's supposed to be. So all I'm going to do is take this side, fold the wire over like so, and then wrap it. Just keep wrapping it around. As much wire as you want to use and up as high as you want to take it. And then for me, I like to wrap it around the bead down here because I think it makes it just a little bit more secure. So I'm going to just wrap it here. Take it up and wrap it. And then I'm going to wrap it around here and then go ahead and clip it. Because I could use this small piece of wire for some charms or even, yeah, probably some charms. So I'm going to cut it about right there. And then I'm going to just take my little pliers, take the end, roll it. And I like to roll it inside of, inside of that hoop. And then press it down. And then we got that side done. You can see that's how we close it off. And then we're going to go back to the other side. And then sometime I do have to unwrap it, and that's fine. Because all I needed it to do was be closed. So what I'm going to do now, take the other side. Make sure it's nice and snug. Fold the wire, roll it over, and then start wrapping the wire. Wrap it as high up as you want to go, leaving a hoop open right there. And then I'm going to take it down, wrap, wrap it around down here. And then I want to take it up here and wrap. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip it. Take my pliers and then take that little part. And then we're just going to roll it. 
make sure that's closed real good. Roll it into that circle part, that round part. Close it down. And then sometime when you do that, it can feel just a little too snug. And if it feels like that, you just take the bead from the bottom, push it up just a little bit, not a whole lot because you are loosen this part up up here. And that's not what we want. Just want to push it just a little bit to loosen it up. And then I got this big, pretty lobster clasp that I'm going to use. You know what? I don't know where I found this at, um, but I do need to try to find some more because I, I like the bigness of them. So we're going to go ahead and use these. I'm going to take... Um, we're going to take one of our jump rings. Let me see what side I want to put it on. I'm going to put it on this side. And then all I'm going to do is take the jump ring, put it through the hoop right here. Go ahead and close it. Some people use two pliers. I, I don't. I only need one. Um, and then I'm going to double the jump ring. So I'm going to take another jump ring. And I'm going to put it through that one. And then take it. Take it through there again. So then that way it's a double. Pretty, make it more secure. And we'll do that. So what I have to... And then we're also going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take one. Close it off real good, like so. Got that one. And then we're going to take one more. I got stuff everywhere, too. One more. Go ahead and open it. Put it on the other side. So we can have a double. Go ahead and close it off real good. And then, we'll go ahead and open our monster, our monster, monster clasp. And then we're just going to turn, make sure we got that like we need it. And then we just made one of the most beautiful necklaces. Right, so that's what we just did. And we pretty much use some of every, not every, but the rope uh, wire spacers that we use. We use the charm wire spacers. We use those. We use some of our painted beads. We went ahead and made our own pendant. Um, So one thing is, and that does happen, I do, I like it, but I don't like it. So this part, these uh, coconut shells, I really don't like that it the way it closes against here. So I do need something flatter, something more flat, maybe some uh, metal or something to put on here because it don't look like what I want it to look like. I do like the pendant. I do like the necklace. However, I don't like the finish here. And then um, I am going to take it apart. However, I did complete the necklace. We put our, our jump uh, lobster clasp on here, one of our monster clasps. We doubled it with those jump rings. And you saw the way we closed it off. Um, I like it, but I don't like this part. So I have no problem taking it apart. The wire is not going to be wasted because I'll use the wire to make some earrings or maybe some charms or, you know, something like such. So it's never wasted wire or anything. But anyway, this is one of the first pieces for um, the membership, uh, membership videos. And again, if you're watching this video, that's only because you became a part of um, the Jury by BDK membership uh, club. And I do appreciate that. Um, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. So I am going to do a series of necklaces. And then this, the necklaces that are on the membership channel, the membership uh, videos won't be seen in the regular uh, population for public. So those won't be seen. 
And anyway, I want to say thank you for uh, being a part of the community and being a member. And guess what? We'll talk.